What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Opulent Vision, Road to Sub 20, Episode 4. The time to beat today, well, the time we got last week for our average of 10 was 23.76, so we're going to try to beat that today. And I've got a little challenge at the end of the video if you guys were interested in seeing me solve a spiky cube. So we'll do that, and soon we'll get into the questions you guys left last week. But I just wanted to say I appreciate y'all who do watch this series. It doesn't get a ton of views compared to, like, my skit videos. But the guys who are watching this, guys and girls, I'll say, they are enjoying it, it seems like, in the comments. Also, make sure to check the description for the big giveaway. We're giving away three GAN 12s, and... It'll be a good time. It's free to enter, so, I mean, there's no reason to not, right? Right. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into our questions. And for those of you that I don't answer, I do go back sometimes and answer old questions, so just stick around with the series, and we will do our best to answer that. Uh, first question coming in from Pat the Great 10 He says his favorite animal is a dog. That was for the uh, giveaway. And he asks, do you have a dog? Uh, I do have a dog. Well, kind of. It's my parents' dog, but it's the dog I grew up with. Uh, her name's Phoebe, and she is blind, which is interesting for a dog. So, yeah, I do have a dog. Uh, Matty Derstrick, I think I said that right. He says, if you could add one non-WCA puzzle to WCA and make it an event, what would you choose? This is a little bit tough of a question. I know a couple of you guys, I talk about, I guess, my live streams, like if we added Mirror Cube uh, to WCA, which I think would be really cool. Um, and brands like GAN already have Mirror Cubes out, which is like pretty sweet. And I feel like it could eventually become an event. Um, but I just feel like we need more like mass produced shape shifty puzzles in WCA. I know some of you guys might think that's stupid, but besides Mirror Cube, I think either like a Gear Cube or some kind of like master pyraminx like i don't know if i said that right but like the pyraminx that has like an extra layer on it i think it'd be really cool to have in wca it's kind of along the lines of like three by three versus four by four in my head you know you have pyraminx versus like you know you can maybe get like a two by two pyraminx maybe get like a you know a four by four pyraminx i'm not sure the name of it but that would be cool too um Jezza Fox 4375 he says do you have any tips on being sub 30 I really enjoy watching your videos uh sub 30 man I haven't been it's been a little bit since I've been around 30 seconds I guess the biggest thing to get down from sub 30 to around where I'm at right now I just kept practicing I don't know all the OLLs I still use two looks sometimes and I don't know all the PLLs um, but definitely if you can learn those, um, as quick as possible and get fluent with them, I feel like that would be a huge benefit. Also, um, learning to be color neutral. I think that's really important and I'm starting to do that. So as soon as you can learn that, start slowly implementing that into your solves. Ben Eats Lolly, uh, he's been one of the longtime channel members. He's always commenting. What a G. Uh, he asked, what editing software do you use? I use CapCut on the computer. Um, they have it on the phone, but it's just got a lot more options and editing things you can do with computers. He also asked, do you think you'll ever quit cubing? Um, I don't think so. I might slow down eventually. I know work is just going to continually like blow up all of my time. Um, but Rubik's Cube is one of those things like a piano where you just like you can stop for like five years, but you'll still remember how to do it. Um, so I don't think like I'll ever forget, but you know, I'll eventually have to slow down, um, just cause of life. Uh, he also asks, is this your first channel, uh, slash only channel? Uh, okay. Let me put it like this. I used to have a gaming channel, like maybe 15 years ago. I had like 10 subscribers, but I just enjoyed playing like black ops three and stuff in live streaming. I just like talking to people when I was doing that stuff. So that's the only reason I really had that. Um, and then some of you guys know, um, this opulent vision channel used to be called mystic cubing. Um, so I don't know if you call that like an extra channel, but I only ever had like 200 subscribers before I started doing shorts. Um, so I guess I, I guess I count that as another channel, but some of you guys might know the reason I had to switch the name. Um, basically I had this whole product line of lubricants. And since I was mystic cubing, they were called mystic lubricants, um, and it was kind of cool. It was like the cheapest lubricant you could get. And it was like, man, I don't remember what kind of uh, chemical I used in it, but 
we sold them in like the like syringe cubes and it was cool because it would like change colors and lasts a lot longer than any other lube. It was called Mystic Lubricant. I don't remember if I said that. But some other company decided to rip me off and make a different type of Mystic Lubricant and advertise it under my name. And so I decided to just switch all the channels, uh, names and branding and everything. And then I just took the line of um, lubricant off of all my stores. So that was a whole ordeal, but kind of disappointing. Uh, Creeper Cubing, good to see you again. He's one of my channel members, so he gets his name at the end of the video. You guys already know. It's only 99 cents, and it's like a free shout-out, so if you guys want to join, it should be pretty cool. But he says, uh, what made you start a cubing channel? Um, I'm not really certain. I just, I think I like to share the hobby and spread it with you guys. I don't keep any of my, like, money for profit. I usually give it all away in, like, cube giveaways like we're doing now, or I... Uh, donate a lot of my money to other causes. So I'm not really financially um, motivated, but I think I just like sharing the hobby with you guys. So I guess that's that. Uh, he also asked, out of all the cubes you own, which is your favorite one? I really love my Kong's Design Mei Ying, which is an old 3x3 brand, like some kind of sub-brand of Moyu. They just made excellent cubes, and they stopped making them, and I have them in white plastic. I love white plastic cubes, but... Um, they don't do stuff anymore, and cubes have kind of gotten a little better, but that one just holds like a little place in my heart. So I guess that is one of my all-time favorite cubes. Uh, we got time for just a couple more questions here. Uh, that curb 6961 says, uh, when and why did you start cubing? I kind of talked about this before. Um, I had a friend that did it in a club I was in a long time ago and just kind of picked it up from there because I thought it was cool. And he got all the girls for doing it because it was cool back then. I mean, it still is, but like a lot of people can solve the cube now compared to back then. Um, and he says, what's your favorite event? 3x3 three three is a classic for me, but I really, really love 5x5. Five five. I think that's one of my favorites, even though I'm not like super fast at 5x5. Five five, so uh, he also asked what I average on 4x4. Four four. I average around a minute 10 to a minute 20. I really want to get sub one on four by four. I think that would be one of my uh, yearly goals. Um, but again, I don't have too much time to be working on that. So I'm doing what I can. Um, and maybe one day I'll get there. And if you guys see what's going on right now, I'm solving the spiked cube uh, for the little challenge of the day. So if you guys have more challenges, let me know in the comments. Uh, but this thing stinking hurts to solve. So really throwing this out here for you guys. Uh, but last question that I've got time for is... Insuming D9435. Hope I said that right. He says, Do you have any or do you enjoy puzzles that have nothing to do with WCA cubes? Talking about like the Ivy Cube, Ready Cube, other things like that. I think those cubes are like some of my favorites. Like I really love um like the windmill. I don't know if you count that. I just ordered the ready cube, so that'll be coming in an unboxing kind of soon. Um but yeah, I, I really do enjoy those kind of cubes. I think it's like a little bit newer of a challenge compared to other things, um, but they're super fun to me. So I solve those quite often, but I hope you guys appreciate the series and stick along with my little journey here today. And we did end up beating the average of 10. So we are slowly getting faster, but I appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.